So we're here at the second anniversary party for CFSI, and I'm with this beautiful young lady, and your name is? Ahavashira. Havashira. Do I look look there or at you? You can look anywhere you want. <laughs> Where, you, know, you can let the eyes wander. You can. So what's the name of your show? What do you do on the radio on CFSI? My show is called Love in the Afternoon. Love in the Afternoon. And Mondays, 1 to 2 p.m. 1 to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Live on CFSI. Live on CFSI. So what do you talk about on your show? Well, <laughs> you may guess. <laughs> love. Something about love. There you go. That's a hot topic. When I was thinking about naming my show, right. uh, I guess I'm in the, you could say I'm in the second half of my, my life, right? So love in the afternoon to me is a metaphor. Right? Yeah, when right. You're, you're going to die when you're no. 50? Come on. You've got to have some faith. You're going to live longer than that. Love in the afternoon for me is, is kind of like a metaphor for uh, the sh the ability to choose how we want to be in relationship or the ability to choose how we want to be in the world. So I've spent a lot of time moving from the place of violence or, or um, oppression or different ways of being that have been harmful to myself or to others and, uh, and really exploring through, through my work as an educator and also, oh, yeah, and also uh, through my, my studies I just finished a PhD and I did it on a practice I call loving inquiry which is part of what I talk about on the show. Um, so that shift from one way of being to another. So in the afternoon is really about that, um, how we do it differently. How do we see things differently? How do we treat ourselves with more compassion and kindness? And how do we treat each other that way too? Well, that sounds like an interesting show. Yeah, it's a great show. So I actually, I'm also a poet. And a poet. So and I share. You live on so, and I live on Salt Spring. How amazing! How is that? amazing! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> like every second person on the island's a poet. <laughs> So I have, um, I, I play poetry, okay. sometimes I, I speak my own poetry, but I also have a poetry oh, CD, cool. so I play poetry from my, I always start the show with a poem, right, right. and I, I like to use the metaphors of the poem right. to enter into conversation cool. about th topics around relationships, and the other, the other piece of it is creativity, because right. creativity and relationships are really connected. If we want to have healthy relationships and loving relationships, we have to be willing to see things in new ways, right, right? sort of open our eyes open our minds and creativity is all about that right I mean if we look around this room and all these We're amazing the <laughs> exactly it's so what are we doing place. here right? right you know our artists um, just they try to see things differently than maybe what we're familiar with, sure. right? Give us a chance to see things, you know, how they see it or how, you know, we might not see it. So, yeah, so I play songs, I play music from, I don't know, maybe the 70s to today. Oh. Um, the 70s uh, seemed like just yesterday. I know, for us they were, but anyways, uh, you know, lots of my favorite music. I try to play lots of Canadian music. I do kind of veer toward women music musicians because I guess I'm a woman and right. I do listen to a lot of women's music but but I, I play lots of different things there we go so thank you for the interview and, and so welcome. again your show is on Monday my show is on Monday 1 to 2 p.m. love in CF the afternoon on CFSI, on CFSI with me I'll have a share 107.9 FM 107.9 FM www.cfsi-fm.com thank you huh?